Here we have a set of 11 test scores. Using Google Sheets, it's really easy to find the five number summary of this data, the interquartile range, and then to create a box plot. So let's go through that process. Obviously, you need to enter your data first. In this case, I've already entered our data. It's all of these test scores. And you don't have to format your sheet exactly like I've formatted mine, but I've tried to make mine very easy for you to read. So once you've got all your data in, you'll have to pick a spot to put the five number summary. And here I have it labeled minimum, the first quartile, the median, the third quartile, and the maximum. So when I get all these numbers, I will know which number is which. These are the five statistics that make up the five number summary. And Sheets has built-in functions to get all of these numbers very easily. So let's go into the cell labeled minimum, and we will get the minimum of our data set. To do this, just type equals, and then start typing min, and you'll see the recommendation for the min function, which gives the minimum value in a numerical data set. You can just press enter, and then we'll want to select the data that we want the minimum of. Now, it already has this automatically recommended. It knows what data I want the minimum of. I'm just gonna highlight it to show you though. That's what I'm taking the minimum of, so I'll highlight and drag. That's the correct selection, and I can just press enter, and there is my minimum. Now we'll come over to the cell labeled Q1, and that's the first quartile. I'll press equals and then start typing in quartile, and we'll have the quartile function recommended to us. So we can just press enter. Again, we'll have to select our data. So come over here, click and drag to select those test scores, and then press comma because we need to enter one more argument in this function, which is the quartile we want. Do we want the first quartile, the second quartile? Well, in this case, we want the first quartile. So after the comma, we'll put the quartile number, which is one, and then we can press enter. The first quartile is 77.5. Then we can come over to the median. The median is actually the second quartile, so you could get this by doing quartile function with the argument of two, uh, but there's also a built-in median function, so let's just use that. If you start to type equals median, the median function will be recommended. We can just press enter then and select the data that we want the median of and close that up and press enter. The median is 85. Same thing with Q3, press equals, start to type quartile. We get the quartile function recommended and select all that data, comma, three, because we want the third quartile. That's the data point that's greater than or equal to 75% of all the data and we get Q3 is 90. Then for the maximum, just like the minimum, you'll type equals, but then type max, and you'll see the maximum function. Press enter, and then select all the data you want the maximum of, and enter again, and we get the maximum is 100. Just like that, we've got our five number summary. And now we can find the interquartile range, which is the space between the first and third quartiles very easily. Just press equals and then click on your third quartile. In our case, that's cell G4, which is 90. And then subtract the first quartile, which in our case is 77.5. And then press enter. That's the interquartile range. It's the third quartile minus the first quartile. In this case, that's 12.5. Now we can go ahead and make our box plot. Now here's the bad news. Google Sheets can't actually make box plots. So I'll show you what you can do to get an approximate box plot in Sheets and then quickly show you an alternative that you can use to get a real box plot. The problem with Sheets is that it can give us a candlestick chart which doesn't actually include the median. So to use that feature, which is similar to a box plot, we'll need to get this five number summary but without the median. So I'll just write that down here. 43, that's the minimum. 77.5, that was our first quartile. I've gotta skip the median, because Google Sheets won't include that. So then I'll put 90, the third quartile. And then 100, the maximum. And then to the left of all of these statistics, we want to put the title of our box plot. So in this case, I might just say box plot for test scores, and maybe I can increase the size of this column just so you can see that title. Now I will click and drag to select the title and the 
four number summary that excludes the median. Once you've got that highlighted, you can press insert and then go down to chart and press that. And then a picture will pop up. You want to go to chart type over here in the setup section and select the drop down. We want to scroll down to the candlestick chart, which is in the other section. That's right here. You can see these all look like box plots and they're very close to box plots. So there it is. That looks just like a box plot, except it's excluding the median. The median is not marked on here. You can see our title right there, box plot for test scores. And one thing you might notice about this is that the vertical axis is really a lot bigger than we need. So you might want to come over to the chart editor and then go to customize. Let's go to the vertical axis because we see that's too big. And then we can change that minimum value. The minimum that we entered was 43. And so maybe we want the minimum value to be something like 40. And now that's a much better plot. The maximum is 100. So we might want our maximum to just be a little bit bigger than that. And that's a much better looking plot. Unfortunately, there is no way to rotate this, so you are stuck with the vertical alignment. If you put your cursor over it, you can see the numbers, right? That is our four number summary without the median. Let's go ahead though and make a real box plot. So we'll just use the power of Google for this. Just open up a new tab and you can type in box plot maker or box and whisker plot maker. And there are probably lots of good options. One that I know is good is this option from Statistics Kingdom. I'll leave a link to this site in the description. What you can do is just copy the data from your Google Sheets file. So control C on all that data. Come over to the Statistics Kingdom box plot maker. And then here in this rectangle, you'll put in your data. So I'll just paste it and there it all is. And I can give this a title. So these are the test scores and the title will be box plot for test scores. This number here is the sample size. In our case, we had 11 data points. That's not really relevant for our purposes though. It's not gonna affect the box plot. The chart orientation, we can have it be vertical or horizontal. Let's just go ahead and press calculate and there is our beautiful box and whisker plot. There are a lot of customization options you can explore here. One thing I wanna point out is that Statistics Kingdom's box plot maker will allow us to have outliers. You can see here this outlier 43 it shows up separately, which is the way box plots are most often made. Sometimes they're called modified box plots when the outliers are listed separately, but this is really the most common way for a box plot to be created is taking these outliers into consideration. And again, Google Sheets doesn't do this with its candlestick chart. So that's how you use Google Sheets to find the five number summary and interquartile range of a data set, and how we can also use Google Sheets to fudge something close to a box plot and a quick way to make a more proper box and whisker plot. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or requests for other topics to cover in Google Sheets. Thanks for watching. Try just to be